Wednesday screener accused of groping men he found attractive during pat downs. Police say that man and a female screener had worked out a system. Jacqueline Allen live at DIA and Jacqueline, those screeners have been fired. But not before the, the female screener admitted that they had done it at least 10 other times, according to this Denver police report. Now, no one wants to think this is happening when they come to the airport here, but TSA investigators say they caught these screeners in the act. At a checkpoint that's supposed to make you safer. That's pretty awful. Frequent flyers. Extremely inappropriate. React to news about groping. Just the other day, I had a, I had a pat down, so. No, I, no, it makes you wonder a little bit. This Denver police report states TSA got an anonymous tip from an employee last November that a male screener gropes males he finds attractive with the help of another screener. Three months later, the report states a supervisor actually saw it happen. The male screener signaled the female screener. She entered the wrong gender into the computer, telling it the person being screened was female. That immediately indicated an anomaly, so the male screener could do a pat down. That's when the supervisor saw him touch the groin and buttocks area with the palm of his hands against TSA policy. Would there ever be an instance where they should use the palm of their hand? Uh, there really shouldn't. Aviation security expert Jeff Price says generally screeners use the back of their hands during pat downs and supervisors should be watching. If things start to feel unusual, like this is just not no a normal situation. That's when it's time to say, look, I want to talk to a supervisor. Even though the report states the female screener admitted to doing this at least 10 other times, TSA couldn't identify the passenger who was groped, other than saying he flew southwest. So without a victim, the DA declined to file charges. And TSA would not talk to us on camera today and did not answer questions about why this investigation took three months. But the agency did issue a statement calling the alleged acts egregious and intolerable and that TSA has removed those officers from the agency. Reporting live at DIA, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.